This is CPM Precalculus Chapter 3, number 122. Here we want to estimate the solution to each of these equations without a calculator. And we want to justify our estimate. Okay, so estimating means we go ahead and try to figure out the answer without our calculator. So how we can do that is to look at 20 to the power of x is equal to 316. Well, let's go ahead and choose different values for x. So for example, I'm going to start with 1. 20 to the power of 1 is equal to 20. 20 to the power of 2 is equal to 20 squared or 400. And I know the answer should be somewhere in between, right? Somewhere in between. So I'm going to go ahead and say um, 20 to the power of somewhere in between 1 and 2, 1 1.5, 1 1.6. I'm going to go ahead and say 1.6 is approximately 316. There we go. That's our estimate. So the estimate for x is equal to or approximately 1.6. Okay. To get the exact value for x, we know how to do that with the calculator. We just apply log to both sides. We use the power log law to go ahead and bring this as a coefficient in front. And then we divide both sides by log of 20. We get log x is equal to log of 316 divided by log of 20. We can plug this into our calculator. Log of 316, close parentheses, let me delete the 8 divided by log of 20 and we get x to be exactly well it's still approximately we're going to round but it's actually 1.9213 dot 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 right so this was our estimate and this is the actual value and see how our estimate wasn't very accurate but it was within the range is between 1 and 2 right that's what's important let's go on to part B again we have 7.3 to the power of X is equal to 4.81 now I know for here 7.3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1 7.3 to the power of 1 is equal to 7.3 and I know this is somewhere in between so my value for X I'm gonna say is somewhere in between let's go ahead and say it's equal approximately, I don't know, um, 0. Point, let's go 0. 0.6 just for fun, right? It's between 0 and 1 is equal to, I'm going to say it's approximately 4.81. So then we have x is estimated to be 0. 0.6 estimate, right? I just want to, let's get the actual value. I want to compute that to see how close we are. So let's take log of both sides. That's going to be log of 7.3 to the power of x is equal to log 4.81 starting here this then we bring down the x x times log of 7.3 is equal to log of 4.81 we can divide both sides by log of 7.3 and we get x is then equal to log of 4.1 or 4.81 divided by log of 7.3 and we can plug these into our calculator. They're all base 10. Log 4.81 divided by log of 7.3. And we get, it's actually equal to 0.790139 dot dot dot. This again is the actual versus our estimate. Finally, we have part C. Here, let's go ahead and rewrite this. Let's divide both sides by 160. So then we have 0 0.5 or 1 half to the power of x is equal to 80 over or 8 over 160. We can go ahead and rewrite this, simplify it, divide the numerator and denominator by 8, right? We get 1 over 20. Then we could go ahead and do the same thing we've been doing. 1 half to the power of 1 is 1 half. 1 half to the power of 2. We're just squaring the numerator and denominator. 1 half to the power of 3. We're cubing the 1 and the 2. 1 half to the power of 4. As you can see, we're just going to be multiplying the previous number by 2 also. 1 over 16. 1 half. 1 
oops, this is one half. One half to the power of five, one over 32. And we know one over 20 is in between these two numbers, right? So then we can go ahead and approximate one half to the power of somewhere between four and five, let's say 4.5 is approximately one over 20, right? That's our estimate, so our estimate for x is 4.5. Let's get the actual. Again, I'm gonna start here at one half x is equal to 1 20th. One half to the power of x is equal to 1 20th. Take log of both sides, we get x times log of 1 half is equal to log of 1 20th. Let's go ahead and solve for x by dividing both sides by log of 1 half. We can plug this into our calculator. Log of 1 20th divided by log of 1 half. And we get actual value for x is 4.321928 dot dot dot. Actual versus our estimate. All right. That ends for us looking at the estimation of x as an exponent. So that ends CPM Precalculus Chapter 3, number 122.